Hello, my name's Ian Simpson, and welcome to Lecture 5, the final part of my five-part lecture series on business strategy. Uh, if you've watched the first four parts, you'll know that we've covered the following areas. Number one, what is strategy? Number two, creating competitive advantage and a strategic position. Three, operational effectiveness. Four, trade-offs. Five, activities. And six, creating fit amongst those activities. The last part of the jigsaw today I want to talk about is expansion. So if you're looking to expand, uh, I'm going to suggest two ways that you could do it. The first way is to further deepen your strategic position in the market. In other words, to create more unique products, services, and deliver them in a unique way that is different from your rivals. So further deepen your strate strategic position and the uniqueness of your products and services. That's the first way that I would suggest that you do it. The second way that you could do it would be to create separate standalone units. Now, to imagine that, if you think about what, what, what Virgin have done over the years, they started with Virgin Records, Virgin Airlines, Virgin Trains, Virgin Banks, Virgin Coca-Cola, and so on. However, they all align to the, the same corporate ID, um, philosophy, color scheme, branding, etc. However, they are standalone units and stand alone and operate alone. That's the second way they can do it. Just a few ideas on, on expansion. Now, do you have a strategy? Well, ask yourself the following questions that might help you. Number one, which of our products are the most distinctive? Number two, which of our products are the most profitable? Number three, which of our clients are the most satisfied? Number four, which of our products in the value chain are the most different and effective? And lastly, what is our core competence? Ask yourself those questions and see where you come out on the, on the, on the strategy uh, question. If you're an existing business, think about, are we still on track? Do we have a strategy? Are we still on track? What is our vision? Is it the same as what the founder's vision was originally? Or have we moved away from it? And should we have moved away from it? What is our core competence? Now, let me just finish with a quick, a quick glance list for creating a strategy. If you're going to think about creating a strategy, what steps should you go through? You know what I always say, dream big, think small, small steps. So think about these steps when creating a strategy. Number one, what is your vision, your strategy vision? Number two, what would be your unique position? Number three, improve your OE, operational effectiveness. Number four, decide on the activities that are going to make up your business. Number five, the trade-offs decide what not to do. Number six, create fit amongst those activities, a tight interlocking system that is very hard to copy. And number seven, deepen your strategic position as you go forward and keep evolving, trying to stay ahead of your rivals and the competition. And that's it. That's, those are some of the things. Today is really a sort of a food, uh, food for thought um, type lecture um, to pull it all together. Now, I hope it's been useful for you. If you would like a copy of this PowerPoint with the notes, please contact me and I will send it to you. Uh, if you if you like some of the content that uh, that we produce on Tokyo Real and and uh, my other websites, then by all means, please, I, I would love it if you share it, tweet it out there, tell other people about it. And if you want to see more of it, go to the Tokyo Real website, which is tokyoreal.tv, and. We've got the two live icons there for Facebook and YouTube. Go into YouTube and please subscribe. And as I always say at the end of the lecture, see you next time and give yourself the edge.